Hello, welcome back. Hope you're all well. And uh, welcome to another RC stuff video. So today I'm going to be talking about my little Fiat here. My little Fiat 5 in a bath, or however you want to pronounce it. Um, I say Fiat 500, nowhere on the paperwork or on the box does it say Fiat. But we all know that's a Fiat 500. So, <laughs> yep, yeah, so a bath, or however you want to, a bath, or whatever you want to pronounce it, I don't even pronounce it. Um, this is obviously a licensed product of theirs with uh, the little seal, whatever it is, on the box. Yeah, just there. You can see it. So it's probably licensed by them. Um, now this has been in storage for, again, for a good eight years, I should imagine. So I haven't even took the body shelf to have a look yet, so that's what we'll do next, and then we'll have a little chat about it, and look round it, and see what bits are still in the box, because there's still bits in the box. And it's one on a MO5 chassis, this one. Right, let's have a look under the body shell. Right, all I've done is took the oil clips off, um, just to make it easier to get the body off. I haven't looked underneath yet. I can't remember much about it. So this is the o, Tamiya O5 chassis, or MO5 chassis. Um, I'm pretty sure you can see by the condition. I bought it, and like I say, it was a shelf queen to start off with. I thought that's what I used it for. And I had done 20 feet with it, no more than 20 feet. So it's pretty standard, apart from I changed, I'm pretty sure, if I remember rightly, I put bearings, it will bearings and that in, pub bearings. Uh, and it's got an upgraded set of shocks on them. I didn't fit them, someone else did, the person who had it before me obviously liked them. And they've just been fitted, I guess for show. The original ones are still in the in the on the plastics. So um, yeah, like I say it's done 20 feet. The tires look quite dirty considering it's only done 20 feet on a carpet, but that's what it's done. Um, yeah, so it's bog standard, and I don't know how well you're going to see it because it's getting quite dark now. It's getting late. You can probably hear the church bells in the background. Um, yeah, so it hasn't done nothing, but my I had big plans for this. Uh, I was going to um, put the, the BMW mini shell on it and all the little bits you you could suppose you know you could do to these and a lot of things have been done to these since I've had this but this is literally like cut it come and I looked at it for that's really nice um you know, look at the body shots so well done um but it all my radio control stuff was put away very very shortly after I got this so I'm guessing I'd say I think mean, I got this in 2012 off eBay but um, I will say these shocks are bloody hard. Jesus. Yeah, they are really hard. Um, I'll take the wheels off in a minute so we can have another look at the chassis a bit easier with the wheels off it. It's got a standard silver can motor in it. The normal sort of stuff. Everything's pretty standard apart from the shocks, I think. It's got the. It come, when it originally it came with the speed controller, what was a, a 101 BK, what you see here. Uh, come on the receiver, I'm not sure if that's one of my old receivers but it's all there, it's all ready to go and the red crystal but um, yeah it's done 20 feet, that's all it's done it's a bit of a shame to use it really, I can remember my mate at the time coming over and he said you're not going to use that are you? <laughs> I went, no I don't know what to do um, so then like I say I got put in storage so it's been a bit of a waste really but I've been trying to look for another one on eBay or think you know, get a rough idea, find some more information out about them, and um, I can't get nothing. I found a couple in shop new, so I must I take it they're still making them. I don't know, and well, obviously making the chassis. I please obviously still making this MO5 chassis, but the body shells. Um, but I found a couple of kits on the on, on the internet, but they every time we went on, they were sold out. So. I'm not too sure, and I've seen a lot of modging do to these, but I'm, I don't, again, do you keep it as a shelf queen, what I really don't believe in, 
or do I make something out of it? I don't know. But we'll whip the wheels off and we'll have a bit more of a look at it. Right, the wheels are off. I've just checked it, I did do bearings on it. <laughs> um, just in case you're new to RC stuff and Tammy and stuff, let me show you the box. I suppose the motor was in, oh no, the servo was in here. Um, what you normally have, instead of a normal ball bearing, you get the Tamiya, you get these little um, plastic, I don't know what you want to call them, I don't think they really sit very well, they're just a hard plastic, what's supposed to be look like a bearing, but all they do is just, um, it's just a spacer really, that's all they are. And, um, What happens is, is the shafts go tight and they don't spin on them, so a lot more drag. And um, I wouldn't say they wear out as such, they do wear a bit, but they, I wouldn't say wear out as such because there's no real weight on them. But you put a set of bearings in these, what cost you literally nothing. Um, it makes the whole world of uh, difference. And I, I must admit, I don't normally go for the Tamiya kits now, or bearings, because that down that thing, because I, what I normally do is find out what the numbers are on the bearings, and I just order them off eBay with the, the numbers. Um, what I've written on the side of the bearings. It's just simple, and they're really cheap, they're really cheap. You know, you're talking probably less than a two pound to kit this out with, you know, just the hub bearings, you know. But, um, yeah, there she is. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it really, or anything else. I'm going to show you the body shell while I remember, because the body shell is really, really good. And it's not finished again, something else is not finished. Move this out of the way. Because this is the body shell, and it's a fantastic, I don't think it's shown on camera how good this paint, paint job is. It's a fantastic paint job. Um, but in the box it has the plastic bits that go over here over the lights and then you can plug LEDs in into it to have lights and all that but I actually like it where you can see in there but that's how it's been left um, that's another reason it hasn't been drove because the body shelf they've done such a good job of the paint job that I didn't want to bugger it up right? so um yeah, that's the MO5, 10 minute MO5 chassis on the Fiat. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I don't know. I mean, the, not a lot I can really say about it because it is pretty much bog standard. Um, standard diff, standard everything as far as I know. Without stripping it all down, I can't think. I don't, I don't think I've done a lot to it. But the shocks were already done when I got it. Um, so I've done less than 20 feet. Tell me if they are rare because, like I said, I've had a job to look them up, you know. Um, this is actually the only one I've got with the full instructions. <laughs> and like I said, everything else with the chassis, which should be standard, is in the box still um, on the cards, on the plastic. So it's got the upgraded ones there for that, so it must be what you've had for the. No, 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 they're just the plastic ones. Well, still, there's loads of stuff still on the. There's loads of stuff on the plastic still. But these bits go up in the body shell, and you put a little LED in there, and you have lights if you want that. The only other thing I've altered, as always, I've got the red wheel nuts. I think it's a bit blurred, but getting dark in here now. Anyway, I hope you like that. If you like this sort of stuff, then uh, subscribe. And uh, put give it a thumbs up. Do it good. Give it, help move the video along, move the channel along and everything else. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one next week. And uh, there we go. Right, take it easy. Remember it's okay, not to be okay. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.